All right, what's up guys? So uh, today is finally the day that I uh, paint the wheels. I uh, worked on the back hatch. Pretty good news, but yeah, uh, that's for another little video that I'm gonna make. Um, I'm pretty weird, I cleaned up my spare. I actually detailed the crap out of it. How many people do you know do that? I actually like this spare because it's a 15 inch and if you uh, daily drive your car you run the risk of uh, you know getting a flat and those little 14 tires that they put in these from factory are garbage because your tires all your car is leaning to the side and uh, you're veering off the road but this is actually a pretty legit size even though I would want a 16 to make it even more comfortable but yeah so I actually had some um, Meguiar's Ultra Cut Compound fall on uh, the undercoating and it came off because I was actually like detailing it because it was getting kind of ratty looking because remember I keep this place as storage for uh, all my little supplies and uh, yeah it actually ate right through it so that just tells you that this stuff is pretty soft because it doesn't eat through uh, automotive paint that I've actually um, accidentally left on for a day or two and it didn't do anything but it definitely ate through this but yeah so just doing a little uh, you know summer cleaning always got to keep it clean keep things dusted keep it neat tidy but yeah so I'm gonna get started on these wheels and uh, take them off all right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, wash the wheel. And um, I was thinking about stripping uh, this old paint off, but then I thought, how about if I just scuff it up, primer it and paint it, and then clear it. So that's just what I'm gonna do. Um, I am gonna end up stripping these completely after I paint them like in a year or so, and uh, re-restoring them, polishing them back with um brand new center caps but in the meantime i'm just gonna see how uh gun metal looks like but yeah so i'm gonna uh clean them up with some um degreaser and uh scuff them up Now remember the first thing uh, when it comes to painting, uh, prep work. If the prep work is excellent, the finished product will be excellent. If uh, it's decent, the finished product will be decent. I'm cool with decent, but if your prep work is poor and uh, looks bad, your paint's going to be bad. Alright, so this is as clean as, as I can get them inside. I didn't really want to uh, go too far, but it's as much as I can do with uh, just a rag and just your basic uh, degreaser, detergent, all purpose. But yeah, so uh, when I restore these wheels, obviously I'm going to use much more aggressive stuff. I'll probably even have them sandblasted, but I just want to take I just wanted to take off a few years of grime since the last time I actually cleaned these. But yeah, so I just wanted to get all the gunk off of here. So now these are ready to uh, sand down, mask up, and spray. All right, guys. So I finally got it uh, scuffed in, uh, pretty much feathered out where uh, there was a lot of imperfections, and I just ended up spraying the enamel over the imperfections. Cause uh, believe it or not, this almond white, which it's an almond white, just from an aerosol can. It was uh, supposed to be like a little experimental, um, temporary thing. And uh, believe it or not, 
it's not, it's been here for uh, almost a few years and I just neglected the wheels altogether new tires new brakes new everything but I just never got around to changing the color and finally I'm doing it because I don't know uh, white's just not my style anymore and uh, yeah it's kind of flashy though but uh, the only problem is is that I have 400 grit sandpaper and it's cancer to sand this and scuff it down with 400 grit because I need at least a 220 to uh, do some justice but I got it feathered down and uh, scuffed and what sucks about refinishing wheels by hand is that uh, suppose you get everything um, sanded down you'll find an imperfection here you'll do that then you'll find one here you'll do that and it's just a chain reaction before you know it you have an, an hour of sanding on one wheel versus a chemical strip which would just be uh, getting everything down and then uh, stripping it and then doing like a light sand or whatever or like a powder coat or something but yeah so I'm gonna uh, clean these up actually just by hosing them down and then uh, mask up the tire all right so finally got it clean usually people put index cards around but what I do is just get a little masking tape it's a little wet still in the tire but it's all good you're not looking for perfection and I just go like that do that all the way around the wheel and uh, it should be good make sure you mask off the tire because you don't want to paint the tire I mean the real real correct way would be just to dismount the tire sandblast it and powder coat it something nice but we're looking at a $20 little paint job right here all right so that's how much I have masked off um, I'm gonna mask up the valve stem I kind of don't want to mask off this part of the tire because I don't want to waste my tape but if I have to I will but I'm just gonna try and uh, spray inside here and keep overspray minimal on the outside but if I see that I'm getting um, spray on the tire then I'm just gonna mask it up All right, that just clogged up. Hold up. All right, well the can actually took a crap on me, so I'm just gonna end up uh, spraying over that right there. I have one light coat over it, but it's okay. It should be pretty good enough. So I'm gonna spray the uh, base coat. Alright, so last coat. Alright, so the only thing I see bad about this paint right here, uh, just do the color. Um, gunmetal paint is that uh, it it's very transparent 
paint so if you go uh, a light coat then a second light coat then a third light coat you're just going to be wasting material but I found that with this type of paint because I've sprayed this type of paint before but I just forgot how to put it down uh, a tack coat let it rest for like a few minutes to five minutes and then give it one good heavy coat you know like uh, just uh, don't make it run or anything but you know a good cover coat and that's it but this stuff is way too transparent so it's kind of good to just to pound it <clears throat> pound it on but yeah so um, I'm gonna spray the clear probably just gonna stand it up This is an old can of clear that I found. I was gonna go buy some, but I just ended up finding it in my box. Let me see, hold up. Yeah, I actually found a spot where I had to touch up inside where the, uh, where the lug nut goes, so I just touched it up real quick before I spray clear, so now I gotta let it dry again before I spray the clear. for another coat and that's going to be the final coat all right that's it i'm gonna let it bake and um pop it on all right guys so I got to paint it. The car is uh, pretty filthy, as you can see. That's basically like uh, dust from polishing, dry polish. So it needs uh, a good cleaning. But yeah, I uh, painted the wheel. Uh, actually, I kind of don't like it. That's it right there. It's not black, it's not a silver, it's just a gunmetal, like a dark gray. The reason why I kind of don't like it, for one, when you get up on it, there's a lot of uh, metal flake in it. It's, uh, it sparkles pretty, pretty high in the sun. And then another thing, when you look at it from this angle you can see behind here and that looks kind of a uh, crappy but I don't know yeah and this camera it kind of uh, it zooms in too much all right right there What do you think? What do you guys think? Throw it down in the comments. Should I keep it? Or should I just uh, polish them? Because uh, I don't know if I want to do all of them. Because uh, if anything, I could just uh, respray this uh, back, that color quick. Until, um, until I have all the supplies to actually polish and everything. But yeah, but in the meantime, should I just uh, keep it? Or go back that color man what did I get myself into what do you guys think keep it or not I mean it's kind of growing on me it's crazy like the more I look at it but I'm really not sure though Oh, yeah.
damn, I didn't think I would uh, feel this way. I thought I was gonna love it.